So you guys seem to be enjoying our story times and we thought we'd do another one. We have a lot of stories. We have a lot of stories. We have a, a lot, lot of stories, stories then it's tell. time to tell. You. We're just going to go straight into it. Yeah. Without like a forward dive. Yeah. No, no back history. No context. Am I making sense today? I don't think so. Here's the story. story. So we're out for dinner with our family and we decided to go to this restaurant. It looked such a nice restaurant. Right? And the food was really good. I would say that now. The food was really good. The waiter was a little bit odd straight away, I think. It was very, like, watchy, if that makes sense. Like, he'd come over. And AKA, he just stared at me the whole time. He's the sort of one that make jokes, but then you'd be like... <laughs> Huh. Yeah. So we got seated to our table, chose our food, and we were going to share loads of different dishes, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, we were like ordering curry. They served us our food, put all the plates down, dished it up onto our plates, which was really nice, and then gave us our cutlery. Amelia, you got a knife and fork? I got a knife and fork. Henry got a knife and fork. Dad got a knife and fork. Mum got, got a knife, knife and fork. fork. What did Grace get? <laughs> Grace got a spoon. <laughs> so I go up to this guy and I'm like, oh, excuse me, can I please have a knife, knife and fork? Because it's like proper meat that we had in our You were like, cut it. And I was trying, you need to like cut it. It was really hard to do. And so I asked this guy, oh, can I please have um, a knife and fork? Because I can't cut it with a spoon. And he, he went, oh, no, no, um, one hand. <laughs> Did you know he had one hand? I think this is the point when Grace realised she like, had one hand. I was like, oh my god! You're right! <gasps> I need a spoon, not you're, a knife and fork! You're right, I forgot, I forgot! I sat there, and my parents, they would never make a fuss in public because they know that it would embarrass me. So before you ask why didn't they step in, that is why I asked them not to. So it seems like, you know, quite timid, and it's like, you know, it's understandable. They're just, you know, they don't know what to do. I think they had good intentions. So Grace asked the other waiter again. Yeah, and I was like, oh, can I please just have a knife and fork? Um, I understand you give me a spoon, but I would like to cut this meat. And the guys looked at me and went, you just don't know what you're missing, do you? <laughs> like, I don't realise what I'm missing by having one hand. Like, what? The funny bit, Grace was like, oh, no, no, no. Like, I don't, I can do almost, like, everything. Yeah, I can do everything. Yeah, and then honestly. he was like, no, 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 seriously, you don't know what you're missing. You don't know what it's like because you don't have two hands. Take a moment to just think of what he just said. Turned from me asking for cutlery to him saying that I miss out on loads of things because I've got one hand. So I got a little bit defensive, but stayed calm, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I explained to him, like I would explain to anyone who asked why I've got one hand, oh no, I was born like it. Um, I've done water skiing, rock climbing. I've done loads of things. You know, I played the drums. And he went, yeah, but you're missing out on a lot of things because you've got one hand. <laughs> it kind of went on like this for a little while. And every time Grace would be like, no, no, seriously, I'm fine. Can I just have a knife and fork? <laughs> and then eventually he gave me a fork, not a knife. And we just dealt with it. Yeah. He just got really defensive. Like, she's got one hand. She doesn't know what she's missing. I am right. I have two hands. So we just sat there in this restaurant, eating really good food, but feeling really, really uncomfortable. Didn't give a tip. There was no tip. And we didn't go back. Yeah. And there's some ways you can go about it. I felt like at first they were trying to be kind, but yeah. then it got a bit like, mm. But we just thought we'd share that video to show you that... How some things can be interpreted weirdly and like, I don't know, I other people's just, attitudes. We thought we thought it was funny, really. It's just, yeah, it's funny other people's attitudes towards people that are different, I guess. Yeah, because you guys have all been so lovely to me on YouTube, but some people in person <laughs> are a little bit odd about it. No, no forks, no knives and forks. No knives and One forks. One hand. I was refused cutlery. <laughs> if you would like another story time, then make sure you give this a thumbs up. And as always, tell us your stories down below because some of them are really yeah. hilarious. I bet you've had some funny restaurant stories. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye. Bye. You know, hey, YouTube, it's good to be back. The, the sisters are here and, and we're, we're doing, doing a wrap. My name's Amelia. My, My name's Grace. Grace. Chill, Mimi, it's not a race. Yup. Let's start with the basics. <laughs> we, two girls in the Matrix. Bless you, Grace. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Amelia, please let's not lie. Okay, alright, I'll stop saying hi. Man, man of your sisters, sisters that is our name. name. We're, We're here playing, playing the YouTube, YouTube game. game. Hello. Cook it up. Yellow. Jello. Now, I think we should clear the air. I mean, to be honest, it's only fair. I do happen to have one hand. But you can't have a knife and fork. 